Hey everybody, it's Jim here. I want to start today's video off by saying I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money, nor am I here to tell you how many guitars you should or you shouldn't have. These are all personal decisions. Everybody's finances and what you do for work is a little bit different. Some people rely on music, both performing it and recording it, as their main source of income. Well, other people just do this really as a hobby and something in their free time. I respect that we're all unique in that sense. What I want to do is really kind of express my own experiences that I've had over the last three to four years doing YouTube, buying, selling guitars, and really living in excess and how it hasn't resulted in the most important part of what I believe to be the musical experience, at least in my case, and how you could potentially avoid the same traps I have. In late 2020, I decided to start doing this YouTube channel, and the reasons were twofold. The first being, I wasn't allowed to go out and perform for money anymore. Obvious reasons in California at that time it was pretty strict and I was really itching to do something musically I was going insane cooped up in my little house in San Diego The second being I was gonna start a new business I was gonna really try and buy and sell guitars and make some supplementary income that way And I figured if I bought the guitars then I made YouTube demos of them it might help them sell a little bit faster fast forward to all these years later and it actually was fairly effective and it kind of expanded into all sorts of other random topics from me just rambling into the microphone like I am right now or, you know, a proper musical kind of endeavor. However, the main thing that has happened throughout that time, at the start of it, I had four guitars total. That's it. And I was perfectly happy for years with those four guitars. I sold two of them to fund buying more so I could sell more. And little by little, as I started making more money doing it, my own collection kind of just started to increase. And then it increased. And I thought to myself, well, I don't have a 335 or I don't have a Les Paul or man, you know, another Jaguar would be great. You get what I'm saying right now. And I think you see where I'm going with this. Now, I have more than I could ever need, honestly. For somebody of my skill level, I am by no means a great guitarist. I'm well aware of that. It's just excessive, and none of it, at the end of the day, has done the most important thing that a piece of gear is supposed to do for you. At least that's what we're told on the internet, and that is get you to that final kind of chapter where you have everything that you need so that you can get the sound that you hear in your head recorded or out playing live in the exact fashion that you want. The truth of the matter is, no matter how many guitars you have, that's not gonna change any of that because you have to put the time in with your hands. We spend so much time watching YouTube, browsing reverb. For me, I'm checking all the shops in Japan on a freaking daily basis. And all of that time, while especially from the business sense of things, it's understandable, it's, not the best way to approach music. We shouldn't just be looking to consume products. Really, we, be, we should be consuming each other's music because we should be making more music. And at the end of the day, when I had less guitars, when I had those initial guitars that I referenced earlier, the four of them, I was the most productive. In this four years of doing YouTube, do you wanna know how many records I've finished? One. Despite the fact that I have some of the greatest guitars that I've personally ever played and I know that there are some people whose collection make mine look like just really minuscule and not really anything to write home about. Again, we're all really different in that sense. But to some people, they might look at my channel or some other channels from bigger people that do YouTube and think, oh man, that guy's got like 40 guitars. I need 40 guitars to be able to get every single genre covered or get this sound or I have to do this or I need that and spend, spend, spend. When at the end of the day, if you invest your time into playing, into writing, into creating, into collaborating with other people, that's the most important thing, really. That's going to give you a much more fulfilling experience than just a new guitar, no matter how awesome it is. And believe me, this guitar specifically is freaking awesome. My thing here is I'm done with this kind of lifestyle. I, I really am. I've been wanting to be done for it for a while and it kind of is what it is. I'm ready to just let it go 
And I know actions speak a lot louder than words. So the first thing I'm going to do, outside of the fact that I'm working on two projects actively with a few different people, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I've been uploading a little bit less because I've been staying up to accommodate people on the West Coast and their sleep schedules so that we can FaceTime and do some songwriting. It's, it's awesome, and it's so great sharing ideas and creatively going back and forth again with other people, not just doing everything by yourself. The second thing, though, is something that you'll be able to see. These two racks of guitars behind me, one of them's going entirely. We're going to get rid of at least seven of these instruments, and it's fine. Some of them are going to be great guitars that go, and I hope that they go to somebody who's going to actually use them. Point of this video, again, you don't need all this stuff depending on what you're trying to do with music. You're going to be just fine. Take the time to really master it, to get better at it, to have fun. You don't need to spend so much money to do that. What you have is most likely already more than enough. I'm not trying to be preachy, but I'm serious. Really, if you have a Telecaster, you're good. Seriously, you're good. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you felt like since, you know, the pandemic thing, when guitar YouTube and all this consumerism really hit its peak, that you've kind of lost track, or have you been really productive in that meantime? I've played a bunch of gigs in that time, but not nearly as much as I was doing pre-2020. Thank you for watching today's video, and I look forward to seeing your responses and your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy, everybody.